What's up everyone, this is Silver Slayer and welcome to my daily 10 a.m. video. Thank you for tuning in. This video is absolutely crazy. It's nuts. It's bonkers and I am not exaggerating that to any degree and you'll see here why in a second. My jaw was literally on the floor when I was uncovering some of this, digging some of this information up. We have several different pieces of information going over a Chinese coin counterfeiting ring, looking at how they fake these silver coins. We're going to be looking at straight up fake silver that you can buy. Here's a, a one ounce bar for $3.75 and you can buy it right now and people are actually buying this stuff they think this is real silver and I'll show you why they do as well also going to be going over an article I found with this guy who just straight up buys it on purpose and shows the comparison right I mean these are both fake bars of, of gold and silver and then we're going to be going over 14 ways to spot counterfeits because of course that's the most important thing about this entire video so you don't come across that I'm also going to be throwing in my advice as well I would love for you to participate throw in your two cents about fake silver have you ever came across fake silver um, places that you avoid buying places that you love buying and just your whole your whole you know perspective on this as well um, so yeah make sure to like this video this video needs to get shown in front of lots of people especially how many new stackers are entering the world of silver and precious metals this video could save them so make sure you like it comment and share I'm also doing a silver giveaway two days away if you want a chance to win some silver click subscribe go in the description that's the entry video good luck everyone so the link to all these articles will be in the description I do want to jump into the the, the counterfeiting ring first this is the most interesting so in the most one of the most interesting things was that you see that they're faking Morgans right they're not faking pandas they're, they're faking United States coins in in constitutional silver at that right government backed bullion that was once a piece of American history and, and and especially Morgans are a very tricky market there's a lot of fake Morgans out there more so than any other coin so be careful and they're very good fakes so I'm just gonna highlight some of the main points of this article because this video is probably gonna be pretty lengthy since there's so much to dive into but don't skip it because every single article is very important itself so the photos in this gallery were taken inside a Chinese coin uh, counterfeiting operation this counterfeiting ring is suspected of putting thousands of fake coins into the world and the US coin markets every month these striking photos first emerge on certain web-based coin discussion boards in Europe and the Far East they came about through a numismatic watchdog and this is uh, called Biddle's Bank these are the same coins that are put into the counterfeit PCGS and NGC coin holders although they are more frequently sold raw coins and non slabbed and yes why that, that would be extremely weird to get a fake silver coin slapped I mean um, I, I'm interested to see what that would look like and what they would put on it so anyway this, the sheer size scope and professionalism of this counterfeiting ring will astonish you although the working conditions often appear dirty and the minting equipment is old this is a well-funded enterprise is run like a legal business in China there's no law against making these replicas as long as they're sold as such and that's what I want to dive into in a second with this wish listing now people are very tricky and they take advantage of new stackers so if you hear people talking about about silver right um, maybe they heard it on news or, or saw something on YouTube or the friends so they're gonna Google where to buy silver and wish is one of the most popular apps it's like eBay but they have everything and usually the best prices so automatically people don't you know they, they, people uh, you know they, they accumulate silver with anything else shoes and so they would probably go on here and a lot of people do looking for silver for the best prices they don't know silver is fake they don't know the market of silver they're just trying to get some silver and then they see oh five stars or four and a half stars 86 reviews three dollars and 75 cents that's such a good price but what they don't know is that it's fake and also they don't know that they're being tricked right they're being tricked they're being misled these people are purposely using specific words not just gonna say it's fake silver they don't want you 
to think that. They don't want you to know that or they would not get 95% of these sales. Who in the world would want a replica bar? Who would want that, right? And, and it's just scary to think because all of these have four or five stars. This one uses the, the replica term, but you could think, and most people probably think it's a replica of another type of, of minted bar or you know something along those standards. It doesn't make it seem like it's a replica of of silver. It looks like it's a collectible replica. So it's a collect. It's a replica of another highly collectible bar that's minted or that that is designed somewhere else. You know, just like for instance the buffaloes or let's say um, let's say even Morgan's. There's there's a Sunshine Mint makes Morgan's and and buffaloes, but they are technically replicas even though there's real silver inside of it so you could use the term replica for that but they are they're doing this on purpose obviously and i've seen this actually on ebay as well not this situation but what dealers will do is they'll post or they'll list junk silver but they won't go in troy ounces they'll go for actual ounces and still charge spot price because people think an ounce is 28 grams. They don't know that silver goes by a troy ounce, which is 31. So there's tons of different ways that these dealers um, get over. And it's it's pretty sad. So I want to look at some of these, how they word some of these. So commemorative, right? And this could be, I mean, you really don't know, especially since it says 0.999 fine silver. It looks like, and and it looks like it's real. Right here's a five dollar gold bar, wow! So it's called a decoration souvenir. Can you see how they're trying to purposely? I want to see some of these. So a souvenir, and I mean you could say it's a souvenir from anything. They're not just saying that this is not real silver. They need to say this is not real silver, and if you buy this, here what what does this one say? Silver plated. Do you really think that's silver plated for festival gifts? You see what? And actually, let me do something else too. Let's read the comments. Very good condition. Very good quality. Stagecoach silver. Um. Look at this. Collectors. Easy to buy collective souvenirs. Uh, prospector silver bar. Um. Let's look at this. It's just crazy, man. Uh, this isn't the main point of the video. I did want to show you all this as well because this is something that I found a couple years ago and it was extremely, and look, great item. Hope it goes up in value with time. Like why would a replica or commemorative bar go up in, in this? They were perfect. My husband loved them. So she bought this and it looks like this and it says, 999 fine silver her husband thinks that he has a whole bunch of actual bars i mean it, it's crazy they're beautiful i'll buy more why wouldn't you just buy actual silver you see what i mean ladies and gentlemen that stuff is sketchy but anyways um i'm gonna keep moving on to this counterfeiting thing so um let's look at this man this is crazy what are those it, those look like almost like purposely worn down morgans because you could see morgans have the stars on that edge um i don't know it's interesting so, so freshly sh uh several freshly struck fake morgan silver dollars lie in the right of the machine to look like it might even be proof morgans which would almost be certainly struck on a machine that uses hand-fed coin blanks some of the machinery in this operation looks pretty old so maybe they'll just they, they are just normal morgans after all and that's what i was saying these look like real morgan but nowadays with the faking they'll purposely um I guess, make the quality lower so, because you're never going to find a 1921, 19, you know, 15 Morgan that's in stellar condition. It doesn't, doesn't exist. So sometimes they will purposely do that, but it's crazy to think those are fake. It's crazy to think that these are fake. It's crazy to think the ones on Wish were fake. And I'm sure if you've ever came across fake silver, it is extremely hard to tell the difference. I mean, We'll go over that in the 14 uh, ways to spot fake silver, and I'll throw in a couple ways myself. But look at the edge view with the fake Morgan silver dollars. Here, I'm going to see if they can. So we'll look at the edge view, the, the fake. The high quality of these fake 
silver dollars is evident. The coins may or may not have been struck on genuine 0.95 silver planchets, though the Chinese have been experts at creating look-alike alloys for more than 1,500 years, which is scary. And, and that's that's really scary because I know if you even know, um, you know, back in the day, coins were faked as well. I remember watching tons of episodes of Pawn Stars. But look at these dot. Look at these casts. You got an eagle right there. You got the the you know the liberties, the sea of liberties. You got barbers. You got the Indian heads. You got the pennies. You got everything. I mean, that is that that is insane. That is insane, right? The Indian head sent. They're even faking the Indian like. This is this is insane to think about. But anyways, oh my gosh, thousands of fake coins from China. I don't want to stay too much on this right now. If you do want to look more into this, the link to all these will be in the description. Um, I don't want to stay on one top or, or one article too long. Uh, people lose interest. So let's look at this one. So this is from currencyandcoin.com. So he says, I bought counterfeit silver and gold so you don't have to. That's a very interesting thing to do. And, you know, props to him. So he says, I'm sure all of you are now aware the U.S. Mint is changing the reverse of the popular silver and gold eagles in 2021. I'm not surprised they're making the changes on an anniversary year. But the main reason for changes is to fight the growing counterfeiting of U.S. coin. And yes, that makes sense. It definitely makes sense. I mean, when they have the same design, I mean, pandas, the design changes every year. So if someone's trying to, to fake that, they have to recast it. They have to make a new mold and all that. But if you have the same design every single year, you have you have unlimited time to, to perfect the coin, to perfect the counterfeit, right? So it makes sense. I never actually thought of that until he just made that point so anyways i recently purchased some counterfeit gold and silver bars as well as coins it won't come as a shock but all of them were produced and sent from china maybe i should go on that wish listing and buy some of those and do an unboxing would you guys like that that would be a brilliant idea i'm gonna do that anyways we'll learn what to look for and some easy ways for you to be able to determine if what you have is the real deal, let's take a look and learn some diagnostics on the, the gold and silver bars and coins relieved, or you, he received. So um, some of these were fairly well done and others immediately scream something isn't right here. But he's a silver stacker, right? If you're a new stacker, you probably wouldn't tell. So um, let's look. Yeah, the Silver Eagle replicas. Since Silver Eagle is the most popular coin, think less people think these are the real deal. When observed closely, the detail of the replicas was far less than that of a real proof Silver Eagle. And it was obvious in the dress of Lady Liberty, the obvious lack of feather. But if you don't have or never bought Lady Liberties, you wouldn't know that there's a lack of detail. So here's three easy ways real quick. Check it with a magnet. The ping test, you know, hit it with, uh, you know. Um, you can you can definitely hear the the tone, which is a lot different than if it's a than if it's a fake. And then check the weight and size. One troy ounce is 31 grams. No other metal is as dense as silver, so it's never. So if you have a fake coin and a real coin, put both of them on the scale. The real one will say 31 grams. The fake one won't. It's impossible to find another metal that's exactly as dense and weighs as much as silver. So, and especially if they want the diameter to look realistic, it will never weigh one troy ounce exactly. That's the fastest, easiest way. That's the fastest way. Bust out a scale. If it doesn't weigh 31 grams, and they'll try to get close, right? They'll mix alloys and all that, but it will never weigh exactly 31 grams because only silver is that dense. So that's just something, you know, to, to remember. Three ways to not be tricked. Experience, buy certified coins, buy from a trusted dealer. And yes, buy from the top five. Atmex, JM, Bullion, Provident Metals, SD, Bullion, Modern Coin Mart. I will link those all in the description. If you buy from either of those or all of those places, you will never have to worry about fake silver in your entire life. Those places are trusted. They are big, big, big bullion dealers. They have thousands of coins to choose from. You'll never have to worry about fake silver. They are, they're trusted, they're reliable. And also, if the coin does come or gets lost in transit or is scratched, they'll send you another coin 
that's up to your satisfaction or they'll refund you. A lot of times on Wish and eBay and Craigslist, there's no refund policies. So you definitely want to go the Atmex route or, or wherever, you know, any of those sites. But a lot of people say, well, I can find a better deal on eBay. But you're paying the little uh, bit higher of a price because of Atmex's reputation, their name, that you know the silver's real, that you have the, the luxury of knowing if the coin is lost, that they'll refund you, that your coins are going to be in brilliant, uncirculated condition. A lot of times on eBay, they're not in brilliant, uncirculated BU condition. That makes a world of a difference. Go buy some eagles from your local coin shop that are all dinged up and, and tarnished and, you know, smudged and scratched. And then buy a brilliant, uncirculated, never been touched by human hands eagle from Atmex. Look at those two and ask me which one uh, you're going to be able to sell quicker and which one you'll be able to sell for more money. That stuff makes a difference, even if it's just a standard bullion coin. So, yeah, I thought this was a great article, a great way to look at this. So here's. 14 ways to spot counterfeits. Now, some of these are a little, a little, you know, doing too much, doing the most, but it's nice to have this knowledge because sometimes you might not have a, ma a rare earth magnet. Sometimes you might not have a scale. Sometimes, you know, it, it's just, it's, it's nice to know. Um, there's a lot more than 14 ways. Maybe I'll throw in a couple that they don't mention in here. I'm sure they will. Uh, I'm sure, you know, I'll know a couple they don't mention just because there is so many ways. But anyways, let's let's jump into this. So one is the magnet test. So while many fakes can easily pass this test, silver as well as gold, bullion for that matter, are both non-magnetic. If a bullion coin or bar sticks to a magnet, you can easily throw this one out. Fakes that are produced with iron and steel in them will give off some magnetic attraction and identify itself as a fake. Metals that have core, zinc, copper, lead, and other non-magnetic metals will not be detected by this test. So, uh, and the stronger the, uh, the, the magnet, the better. You can use rare earth magnets. And what you do is you can actually put it on um, like a slant and, and, or, or turn the coin on a slant and then put the earth magnet down. And if it slides slow, that means it's fake. If it slides fast, it means it's real because silver is non-magnetic. So anyways, there's, um, and that's a cool test. So simple test for fake silver coins. Use a blah, blah, blah. This will pick up any iron stiff base metal. So the mag here, this is what I was just saying, the magnetic slide test. So um, I, just, I just basically told you guys what I was saying. The uh, fake silver moved down slide with nose. Oh, yeah, sorry, I was backwards. Um, the, the real silver moves slower. The fake one just shoots right off. I'm sorry. I don't know. I was, I was doing it backwards. But, yeah, if you have a rare earth magnet or whatever, you tilt it. The, the, the real silver, it will slide slower because it's repelling because it's non-magnetic. And the fake one will just go right off. So the ice test. Um, this is an interesting one. I wouldn't recommend this one, but it's also silver is the best conductor of heat. So um, below the thermal conductivity amongst popular metals, you'll see silver is the top. And uh, this is an interesting one. So this is a video showing how fast silver will melt compared to a regular pan. And if you want to watch that video, link will be in there. Then there's the, the dimensions test, which this is another very easy way to tell. Um, even just looking, sometimes these fake coins, the nine will be a little different or the one will have a little edge, you know, the fake one will, or there'll be like a little mark right there that the fake one has that the real one doesn't, you know, but also the diameter as well, especially if whoever's faking it is trying to get it to weigh one troy ounce, you cannot have the same diameter and the same weight uh, unless it's real. Right, because silver's that dense um, that th any other metal, if it was going to weigh one troy ounce, it would have to look, it would be thicker or wider, or if it was the same diameter, it just wouldn't weigh a troy ounce. So, um, anyways, let's keep on going. The visual test, and that's definitely true. If you watch coin roll hunters, right, they bust open, um, you know, some coins, and they can tell which one's silver right off the bat. Right, they they turn the coins sideways to hold them with their, their middle finger and their thumb, and they look at all the edges of all those half dollars 
or whatever and, and instantly they'll know if they have any fake silver I mean if they have any real silver or not they don't even have to look through each coin they don't have to test it you can literally tell by just looking at it so here's a picture showing some of the fakes you can see here's a real eagle here's a fake one and if you aren't an experience and in person this probably does look a lot better obviously you can tell it's fake this also has a proofing type finish um, but yeah there's there's lots of differences you can tell if you've been stacking for a while you would be able to tell but you know there's lots of different things see the number three is a lot different all that type of stuff so um, so let's look at the back right you know all that stuff if you are at a coin shop or trading or at a coin show or whatever pay attention to that stuff if you're not buying from a big bullion dealer you always want to make sure you're being safe never do a bleach test I don't even recommend that with bullion I mean uh, but if you want to know what it does um, basically silver will tarnish very fast when exposed to any sort of oxidizing chemical like bleach just one drop and if the silver begins to turn black you can you, you can put a check that it is silver so um, the ping test, right? Great thing about silver it has a certain high pi uh, high pitched ring to it when struck. Many people refer this as the ping test. It works fairly well. Do this: simply place one silver coin on your fingertip, take another between your thumb and forefinger, gently tap your coin. It should produce a high, nice pitched bell ring. And if it doesn't, if it's more of a dud, then it's fake. Buy from reputable dealers, right? Definitely. Um, Specific gravity test. Now, here's where we're getting in where I was. Remember when I said you're doing the most, doing way too much? This is that stuff. This is using math equations. Um, I remember someone on YouTube several years ago did one like this. They built this whole rig. You even put it in water and use like displacency or, or some scientific crap. And you could see the exact weight. I mean, and you can buy these very, I want to know, show, yeah, these things are extremely expensive, but it will show you how pure this silver is. If it's three nine spine, if it's just 0 0.9, if it's 90%, which is 0.715, um, it will even tell you what metal it is. I mean, um, the one that I think Silver Slacker did, it was a big, it was like this, but it was like way bigger, probably like like, I'd probably say, like, um, what? Like, uh, half the size of a shoebox. Not even kidding. Like, it, it was this rectangle big thing like this, and you could put silver on it, and it would tell you instantly the purity, what type of metal it is, all that stuff. And, I mean, it's just crazy that, that these types of things are made now. And then there's fire assay. Obviously, you can melt it down, right? I mean, you'll be able to tell that way. Um, and that's the magnet slide that I was talking about, you know, earlier. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's, you know, there, there's definitely a lot of ways to tell, but like I said, you'll never have to worry about any of this if you buy from reputable dealers. I do think this, this Chinese counterfeiting ring is just so interesting though. I would like, and here's the fake ancient Chinese coins. I would like to go into this more and, and really kind of just dig deeper into this whole world and look there's even fake wait, wait, wait yeah these are fake chinese slabs but you know what they're doing to make it come off like it's real or why it might look a little different see how it says cleaned all these say cleaned that's what happens when you clean a coin it's not going to look the same as the original because you're using certain you know chemicals and all that so that's their way of getting away of it and that's an AU55 of course they're going to boost the condition if it was a AU55 compared to an AU56 that could be hundreds of dollars in difference right because when it comes to older coins one number up could make uh, could, could be extremely expensive right and that that's the scariest part is this is probably even if it was real probably wouldn't even be close to that probably be you know 52 53 but they say 55 because they can charge 10 times the amount of money and you have to be court you have to be careful with that on ebay as well because on ebay you'll have people selling morgans on there they're real morgans but the condition isn't as good as they say it is so they'll be saying on uh, Mor uh, morgans and ms64 or ng plus or whatever but really it's a 62 but since they're saying it's a 64 they can list the price 
way higher than that coin's condition really is or what the grade really is. That's something you got to be careful with. There's a lot of different ways to get uh, scammed, I guess, not or, or ripped off, I would say. So, yeah. Um, I hope you thought this video was informational. If you thought it was informational, educational, at least entertaining, make sure to smash the like button. Make sure to like this video. Make sure to comment. Even if you just say hi, even if you just say I love the video, just comment because people need to see this. Share the video on Wall Street, Silver, wherever you want. Share this video, comment, like the video, and also make sure you're subscribed because I'm doing a giveaway, announcing the winner in two days. Good luck, everyone, on that end. But yeah, this is an extremely important video to get recognition from because if you're a new stacker, this will have saved you, right? A lot of people, and I can't imagine how many people have fell for this stuff, are getting ripped off as we speak right now. The second you're watching this video right now, someone's buying some fake silver somewhere, putting money in some, in some scammer's pocket. Right. And I hate that. The more these videos get shown and recommended, the more people will be saved. And the worst part is when they do find out they get scammed or ripped off, that might push them away from precious metals entirely. And that is where and that's where the real money is. Right. So this is they're, they're, they're ruining people's lives, essentially. So, yeah. I'm going to wrap this video up here. The link to these four articles will be in the description. I also have a clothing line, AG47 Apparel. If it's merch for silver stackers, new merches, uh, we, we have new merch that dropped. So I think you're going to like it all. Um, it's slayersmerch.com if you want to check that out. Anyways, thanks for tuning in. This was Silver Slayer. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.